Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video here on Z Channel. And today, I wouldn't say it's movie news, it's actually TV series news, so that's fun. First up, it's gonna be Halloween. And second, a very, very fake Elm Street TV series announcement that was supposedly held by Rob Zombie and starring DJ Quells. Quells? Quells. It's Quells, right? The guy from Road Trip and the new guy as Fred Krueger. It's good for a meme and good to talk about. But firstly, let's talk about the Halloween TV series update. So apparently they are going back to the original roots of the first film from 1978, which makes me happy. Now, in my opinion, do we need a Halloween TV series? I don't think so. Not right now for that matter. Like I think after Halloween ends, there needs to be a bit of a break, like a, a pretty steady break in the Halloween franchise, or hell, even tackle Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. I would love to see that remade, where it still has the same roots as Halloween 3, three. <laughs> oh shit, where it still has the same roots as Halloween 3 Season of the Witch, but they do their own thing. Like I said, it's like copying your mate's homework, just change it a bit so the teacher won't notice. So the article I'm gonna be referencing comes from the good folks at Bloody Disgusting, and they go on to say, We had learned this past October that Miramax landed the TV rights to the Halloween franchise, joining forces with Malika Kart's Trankus International Films to bring Michael Myers to the small screen. Miramax will be developing and co-producing the Halloween saga's first ever TV series, and Miramax head Mark Helwig provides an update to Deadline this week. The foundation of the series is the original film, the John Carpenter movie, the characters of that film, and perhaps a group of characters that we haven't really focused on that much in recent film versions, or even a number of them, which is very intriguing. I love the notion of it's going back to the original roots. They also go on to say it's a creative reset and completely going back to the original film, as opposed to spinning out of any more recent film adaptations and I read that very slowly at the end. So this gives me hope. Again, I don't really feel the need to have a TV series, but anything Halloween, anything Elm Street, Friday the 13th, I'm like getting the Friday the 13th TV series, of course I'm gonna bloody watch it. It's another addition to the franchise, to the mythology, maybe expanding the characters, stuff you never knew before. Of course I'm gonna watch it. I didn't really think I needed it, but of course I'm gonna watch it. Now in terms of going back to the events of the 1978 film or revolving around those events, are we gonna be learning more about Lonnie, are we going to be learning more about Tommy Doyle focusing on the younger kids? Is there going to be a mention of Laurie Strode? Are we going to see someone that is supposedly playing Laurie Strode? But also, are we going to be going back to the night before the events or the lead up to the night of Halloween 1978? Like, are we going to see Michael incarcerated? Are we going to see a younger Loomis? Are we going to have flashbacks and stuff like that? And are we going to see the events take place? or hint at the events taking place of Halloween night 1978 and then leading into Halloween to 1981. Who knows at this stage, but I'm all for it, especially if they're going back to the original roots. I would love them to do that with the Elm Street franchise. And perfect segue, the fake news of an Elm Street TV series held by Rob Zombie and starring DJ Qualls as Fred Krueger. It's amazing. It's amazing how many people sent me the link thinking it was legit. Now, I know Cody Leach did a video on it and a ripper of a video of that. Cody's a fucking weapon and a half. And I just love how he just does not give a shit and just tells it how it is. What is going on, guys? Today, we are going to rip this film a new asshole. But going back to the fact that a lot of people sent me this link saying, I'm paraphrasing, dude, are you excited? You must be so excited. I can't believe it. They're actually doing it. I'm like, guys. Look at that photo. That is AI at its finest. Like, there's AI and then there's AI. Like, you know, there are some AI-generated images where you're like, that's pretty damn good. That's legit. I don't want to say that too much out loud, but that looks legit. This one is like full-blown AI of DJ Quells as Fred Krueger. But the description that went with that photo, that mock-up poster, is an absolute read and a half. It goes on to say, get ready for a chilling journey into the origins of terror with Fred. I love how they're just bare basic going to the first name. It's like Logan. A gripping 10 episode event on Mac streaming service this October starring DJ Quells as a titular character himself witness the transformation of Fred Krueger from evil man into nightmare slasher in Wes Craven Studios production. <laughs> Wes Craven Studios production. No idea that existed. I'm sure Wes's family doesn't know either. Directed by Rob Zombie in his television series debut. Brace yourself for 
for an unforgettable descent in the darkness. Mate, brace yourself for an unforgettable descent in fucking memes. That is amazing. And it's just amazing how many people fell for it. Like, I am a part of a lot of Elm Street groups on Facebook and like a lot of pages on Instagram and stuff like that. And they were sharing it thinking it was legit. Few of them were like, hey, can someone just debunk this? Is it is it fake or is it real? And everyone just chimed in straight away and like, dude, it's fake. Like. You, you've got to go to the horse's mouth. Like, you'd go to Rob Zombie's Instagram page. You'd go to DJ Quells' socials if he does have socials. I usually go, like, for, to see if stuff is legit, like, to Variety or Bloody Disgusting. Usually, if it's horror, Bloody Disgusting. If it's on those pages or those socials, then it's looking pretty good. But someone must have been so bloody bored one day and come up with that. I, it's, it's like that meme of Will Ferrell from Anchorman. I'm not even mad. And at this stage, I take Elm Street news with an absolute grain of salt. I think it's going to be one of those things where it'll get to the point where something legit comes out, an official announcement, and we are going to be caught off guard and just refer to it as... No, no. Fake news. We're not going to believe it. It's like the boy that cried wolf. Like, there are things happening behind the scenes at the moment. I do know that for a fact. But I, at this stage, I think we're far off from an announcement of something. I mean, I could be wrong, but things are definitely happening in the background. I mean, at one point, Elijah Wood's production company pitched to the Craven Estate. The Craven Estate are apparently very protective of the IP, which I get. Uh, I think, obviously, they don't want to tarnish what Wes created with Nightmare 1 and Wes Craven's new Nightmare and, like, everything in between. is a bit of a clusterfuck, but a fun clusterfuck, for that matter. So, guys, there you go. In terms of the Halloween series, going back to the events of 1978, revolving around that timeline, happy. Again, I didn't really feel the need to have a TV series, but if it's done well, and done in a way that it's similar to the flashback scene from Halloween Kills, I am all for it. Be interesting, are they going to have a younger Loomis? Are we going to see Michael in the sanitarium? Are we going to see Laurie? Like, and, and these certain characters that we haven't really spent time with, does that mean we're spending time with Lonnie, Tommy Doyle? And for the Elm Street announcement, it's just a good meme to talk about, and just a good chuckle. But I highly recommend checking out Cody Leach's video, I'll leave the link down below. Hello. It's a fucking good watch. And I've done a video on this in the past on my main channel. Like, my pitch for an Elm Street kind of reboot would be a direct sequel to the first one, or even Dream Warriors. And I know we're in an age where direct sequels are just flooding the marketplace when it comes to film, but I would love to see Heather Langenkamp come back. Christ, imagine if they got Johnny Depp back as Glenn and they're married with kids and get Robert for one more appearance. I know Robert doesn't have it in him anymore. He's got no more gas left in the tank for, for appearing as Freddy. He's getting on and he's fully acknowledged that. He's like, I'm old, I'm a bit bigger and I, I feel like there are so many other people that could do it. He babbles on about Kevin Bacon doing it. I don't know why Kevin Bacon, like why Kevin Bacon? Like I'm sure he'd do a great job, but it just seems so random and out of the blue. But that news has been going around for like the better part of a decade at this point. Either way, love you guts and I'll catch you in the next one.